welcome back. Um, sorry, I've been kind of absent for the last while. We've just been absolutely off the walls, busy trying to get work done. Um, so today we are cutting our spring oilseed rake. There are the two trailers. They're just putting a line of grease around the boundary of the trailer just in case the oilseed rake decides to try and make an escape. Um, we're in a 40 acre block here now. Um, actually not ours, but uh, we're contract growing it for a customer, so he hasn't had anything to do with it since the uh, day he asked us to um, plow it. Um, it seems to be doing fairly well, it'll do about a ton to the acre. A um, little bit disappointing, but um, at the end of the day it's still fairly good for spring ice and rain. Um, when we get finished here we'll be going home to get our own cut. Um, the reason we're here is it's, it's the, um, the eleven percent moisture. It's doing ton to the hectare, two and a half tons to the hectare, which is about ton to the acre. And if you look really closely, the reason that we're here cutting this today uh, is because um, it's starting to shell out. And if we leave it too much longer, it'll just uh, there won't be much or anything left to combine. We're combining it here today in order to try and save it. So that's the story. That's what we're doing. Um, probably get 40 tons off it, yeah, two fills of the trailer, and then we'll head on over our own stuff. I'm hoping to get about 50 acres cut today so that we can um, get back to spring barley and spring wheat tomorrow. So we'll play fire and see what happens. As you can sort of see in the camera, the reverse camera, and, and from the field, we are chopping the straw. Um, we haven't baled oilseed rape straw in, in several years. It's worth more to the soil than it is to the um, to bale. So uh, that's what we suggested to him to do, and that's what he decided to do. Unfortunately, he was too late applying to the. Um, ICM, or no, the S, the Straw Incorporation Measures. Yeah, I, I am, SIM. Yeah, SIM, Straw Incorporation Measures. Um, so it's just been chopped anyway for good practice. Um, he's either going to follow this with, with the wheat or put it back in the grass. So, um, not sure yet. Um, but yeah, so we signed up to SIM on our oilseed rape and 75 acres of spring barley. So we chopped it yesterday actually, as a matter of fact we only pulled out last night and we got stuck twice. Two trailers got stuck and I got stuck twice in the combine. So four times in total. So I was stressed for two days as to why the camera was not touched. Um, we, I, I'd kind of like to chop a bit more than just that, especially on our home farm but unfortunately at the moment well not unfortunately it's a good thing but straw is making a lot of money at the moment so it's worth bailing um, but it's very uh, very hard to um, justify doing it especially when dung is so much cheaper than straw and it's you know like chopped straw I'm oh, sorry I'm trying to mess my head here. At the moment, straw is worth about 200 to 250 an acre, whereas dung is worth about two, three euro the ton to buy in. And um, so you have it spread in the field for well, two by about 10, 10 to 20 euros worth of uh, dung, five to 10 tons the acre, depending on how often you do it. Our contractor going by. A wagon. Um, sorry, five to ten tons the acre, depending on how often you do it. So every year we were putting out ten tons the acre when it was hard got, but now we have a bit more of it, so we reduce it to five tons the acre going out every year. I'm um, sorry, ten ton. We are rotating through the fields, so it's getting ten ton every two or three years, whereas now it's five ton across more ground. Um, so we are trying to. Uh, Sorry, five ton, ten euros an acre. 
um, and you're talking about probably another probably talking about another 10 to 15 euros an acre on on the actual spreading on it and then another 5 would we'll say for drawing it not even that um, 5 euros an acre yeah so it's 5 euros an acre so top would cost 30 euros an acre to apply dung and this dung is coming from out under cattle it's got the nutrients of whatever you want to call it, animal waste and it's going on the ground and then you're there's straw in it, there's peat in it, there's dung in it, it's, it's top quality stuff, it do more for the soil than the straw will so that's kind of the way I look at it um, straw is not worth, it's not oh, sorry, to put the dung on is not worth much more than that 30 or an acre I just driving the combine here for a minute just so I can get down and check the straw. So. Very few grains on top so far. Looking fairly good. So now we're down here looking for, so you see there's one. There's a couple. Yeah. Not too bad. I know, I know, it needs a clean.
video because I've eaten some of hasn't been off now. I'm going to have a chance to say hi to anyone. Um, sorry I've been very absent for the last while. It's just been hectic. Um, but I'm back now. Or whatever that means. Um, yeah, we have 20 years of beans left to cut. What's that? Let's see. Just over 8 hectares. Um, and uh, we're down to. I left the outside last the last because it was the dampest. But we're down to about. Five acres now. And once that's done, we'll pack down the home. And today is the 21st of September, so this is considered a fairly early harvest. Um, three years ago, we weren't finished until the first week of October. We were combining and uh, found its own at the same time. So it's nice to have one thing finished and then before the next thing starts off. Um, that is to be asked why we're not down in sewing at the moment. And that is because I don't like the sewing in September. No, sorry. I don't like the sewing in September. And I can leave it off as long as I can. The later I can get away without sewing, the, uh, the, the less likelihood I'll have to sew you with any designs. Now I do realise sometimes that isn't necessarily evil, but I do realise I can't leave it off until the 15th of October, otherwise I wouldn't get it all sewn. First of October, we kick off strong. That's the intention. Um, yeah, so that's the story anyway. We're cooking beans. It's yielding well. Um, about two and a half tons probably. The moisture is anywhere from 18% up to about 25%. So I'll be interested to see what the trailers, um, when, when the trailers bring it in. Where are you going? Uh, or when, 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 where are you, what the moisture will sit at. See, but even if it is sitting around 22 3 percent I'm still happy to have a cut in the trailer in the merchant done. So that's the story. Looking away not too badly. Um, you can see right here, this green patch here was where we cut off turned off a section of the uh, sprayer. Um, as an experiment and the yield monitor would pick it up and uh, we'll be able to compare it with another one over here and um, where we should offer a different spray as an experiment so I have to double check because daddy does most of the spraying because I'm usually away at silage um, but uh, I think it's with the herbicide actually looking at it it could have been waterlogging Anyway, Daddy has it on a map at home. He uh, uh, turned it off with the with the GPS, so we know exactly where it wasn't sprayed. There's the phone again. Beans. We didn't spray it off because it takes too long. It takes nearly three weeks for the spray to actually have an effect. Um, and I just haven't. I actually have. I'm gonna have to do my figures but I have no intention of growing beans next year. They're just, people say, oh, they're as profitable as barley, they're as good as spring barley, you know, they're great, they're great for soil, and they are great for soil, that's why I've been growing them. But, obviously the rape is good for soil as well. Oh, sorry, we're not chopping the straw here because the landowner wants it for uh, bedding. And I'm sure, you know, if you can reduce it off my, uh, rent bill I, I'll be happy you know if he doesn't want his soil in as good a condition that's his choice but anyway um there is somebody in the next field working that field is not know me um but anyway sorry I reckon that they have uh the oilseed rape is more profitable um when the straw is chopped it does as much for the soil so I will be growing more of that next year I'll be going from uh this year I only had 60 acres of oyster this year, but I have an intention of going up over 100 next year. Um, so that's the story anyway. Uh, I'll have tempted to try and a little bit. Oh, I, I have a uh, wind rice rate as well, which is no. Um, but I will probably. I was considering trying to. trying maybe 5 or 6 acres of peas. But uh, my father and. 
my granddaughters don't particularly like it, so I think I'll stick with just having peas and cover crops, which actually I have in the ground. That's one of the things I've been trying to get up doing, is I have my cover crop in the ground, and this year my cover crop consists of peas and oats, since last year. But instead of going for tillage radish, because it's so expensive, I didn't really strike that well, I went for fodder rape and leafy turnip, which are both struck and both doing amazingly. I will try and show you, remember to show you the cover crop when I get home. But yeah, so we're in the beans, the last of the beans. Now we're in the last of the combining, like I can't believe it. I always say I'm going to grow a bit of spring wheat for the combine once I finish the beans, so it'll have something else going through the combine, trying to clean it out, because I hate having to clean it out after the beans. But anyway, I'll, uh, this is the end of it anyway. Right hand, this is your ESA. Let's see, that's better. Uh, you might do your homework on the uh, other flight to see. Thank you. 
So, I've just literally backed in. We got a bit of rain, but uh, combine's in the shed here. And it will stay here until I have time to clean it out. Sorry. Until I have time to clean it down, blow it down, and then we'll sweep the whole shed out again, put down the bait points, shut the doors, and that'll be it for winter. So, that's combining done. See you next time.